Hello, Morgan Knoll here with TransWest Truck Trailer RV in Frederick, Colorado. We're located about 30 minutes north of Denver off I-25. Today, I'm bringing you a used 2022 Cimarron North Star four horse gooseneck. And this one's got the Outlaw Conversions interior on it. Like I said, this is a used trailer. So um, really nice shape for being used. It is one to definitely check out. I'm gonna have them pop the drawing of the trailer up on the screen here real quick so you can kind of get a feel for the layout of it. We're sitting at eight feet wide, we're sitting at seven feet, seven inches tall, and then we have an on the floor length of 30 feet, three inches. Um, like I said earlier, this is a 12 foot eight short wall by Outlaw Conversions. So in the back there on the trailer, we're gonna have 39 inch wide stalls and then your small folding tack room on the side. And then the Outlaw Conversions interior, it's a neat interior on this one. I can't wait to show you guys. So we'll go ahead and get started right up front here. So we've got our adjustable coupler. We can get this moved up and down. We want to make sure you're riding as level as possible on that tow vehicle. So being able to get this up and down just helps out big time with getting that levelness. Our safety chains, battery breakaway cable, all of that stuff. And then underneath here, you do have your battery box with your battery cutoff switch. So two batteries in there and this folds up out of the way. And down below there, you've got two 30 pound propane tanks. So when we order in trailers, we like to order with the bigger propane tanks just to give you a little bit more um, a capability and having more on the trailer as well. Over in the middle there, we've got our equalizer jack. So that's a hydraulic jack. And then that one's actually got a safety feature where you can use the pump action on it. If you are in a hurry, in a rush, emergency situation, you gotta get this trailer down on a truck and your batteries are dead or whatnot, you can use the emergency safety feature on it. And then over on that left-hand side, we have the full-size spare tire. So exterior color on this one is white. Um, generally, when we order in LQs for our inventory, we're going to order them in white. But if you are to custom order and you want a specific color, we can get you a different color as well. So popping up here into our living quarters right away, you'll notice two exterior speakers. So those run off the uh, AM, FM radio inside. And then that's also got Bluetooth capabilities and all that stuff. You got an LED light. And then I don't know if you can see it, but we actually have an LED strip lighting underneath this awning too. So that's an electric awning that'll pop out and then the strip light underneath. But we'll go ahead and hop up here into the LQ. So like I said, it's a 12 foot eight outlaw conversions, no slide out. So I absolutely love this layout because you're not getting overly long on the floor. You're still keeping that overall length short, but you're getting everything you need in here. So this couch, this does fold down, jackknifes down into an additional bed. So if you wanted to get an additional person sleeping in here, you could easily do so. And then it's nice and easy to be able to pop this back up and over. Underneath here, you're gonna see a 60 gallon fresh water tank. And then up above, you just have some storage cabinets going across, beautiful wood in here. This is all hardwood cabinetry that we've got. Outlaw does a fantastic job on, on customizing these trailers. So they will build the wood and the cabinets for this trailer specifically. They'll put them in here, make sure they all fit snug and perfectly. And then they actually take them back out, go and stain them while they do the subflooring and all the wiring and stuff. And it's cool how they, how they do all of that and how they are able to make these trailers completely customized per trailer. So coming over here beside the couch, you've got your refrigerator. And that has a freezer on it too. So that's an electric and an LP refrigerator. And then over on that left-hand side, you do have a small kitchenette area. So this opens up, you've got your sink with the cover on it. And then in here, you've got your two burner cooktop. So what I really like about having these covers is if you're not using the cooktop or you're not using the sink, but you need some space in order to prep some food for barbecue or whatnot, you're able to use this as counter space as well. Up above here, we've got our microwave convection oven. So you can do some, some serious cooking in here if you really wanted to. 
And then back in the back here, I'll have them walk back there to the bathroom. You got a full bathroom in there. So on that right hand side, you have the toilet. And then you've got your bathroom vanity with some shelving. And then you do have a walk-through door, pass-through door going into that horse area, stall area. And then this one, I'm gonna open this up real quick because this is a nice and big storage area for you to utilize and have some clothing in there, you know, whatever you gotta take with you, you just have that additional storage space with having this bigger, um, bigger layout in the bathroom. And then over here, you've got your shower. So this opens up. Then you've got your shower in here and then you've got a skylight up above and having the skylight in the shower for one gives you a little bit more light when you're showering but for two it gives you some more headspace too if you're a taller person and and just want that additional headspace up on the ceiling there you do have a max air fan so that opens up you want to make sure you're not you know steaming this place up because this is all hardwood so you don't want to get too much steam in here so being able to get that on and opened up just helps out big time in the long run so since this is a used 2022 no matter the age on these trailers we're going to send them through our shops so on our shop side here we're going to take the wheels off we check the brakes and the bearings we'll replace the new pack if needed if the tires are over five years worn or non-matching we replace all tires on the trailer and then we go ahead and put a wheel alignment on them and make sure they're hauling straight go through all your windows and door latches and just make sure everything's in like new condition and operating how it should be. And then interior wise across the street at our RV shop, they are going to go through all of your systems on the inside. So your LP systems, your water systems. I mean, they go through everything and make sure that everything is operating in like new condition. And that way it's ready to go for the next owner and next customer. But I did want to point out here, I don't know if you saw on this kitchen how nice this backsplash is and how well it ties in with the rest of this trailer. I really like the interior colors on it, so I just wanted to point that out real quick because that's something that we don't do very often, but it just ties this whole trailer in together very, very well. And then you do have, I don't know if you saw that earlier, you do have a TV that is on a swivel. So no matter where you're sitting, whether you're in the bed or on the couch, you can get that swiveled out and move it around for your needs. So like I said earlier, this one does have a 60 gallon fresh water tank, 30 gallon black, 30 gallon gray. And then we've got the 70 LP 120 volt refrigerator. Got a five gallon LPG and 120 volt hot water heater. And then on that interior, you do have a 15,000 BTU AC and a 16,000 BTU furnace. So nice features and nice setups on that one. Um, since Outlaw does have a transferable warranty, it will transfer from the original purchase date. So as of this moment right now, we're sitting at about a year and a half left of transferable warranty that you could get on this trailer for the interior. And that includes all appliances too. So that's a big one with Outlaw. I mean, if your refrigerator, your stovetop, any of that goes out, Outlaw is going to replace it within that three year warranty that they have. But since this one is a used trailer, you're getting that roughly year and a half warranty. But over here on the hip side, we've got four bus windows. You got ties down below those. And then under this trailer, we've got two 8,000 pound Dexter torsion axles. So nice axles on there, nice wheels on there. You know, this, I, it's just a setup of this trailer. It just works perfect for what, what most people are needing. If they don't want to get that overly long trailer, this one's really easy to haul around and get around in. Up above, you will notice a hay rack. So if you wanna take some hay storage with you, you wanna put some cubes up there, some grain, you do have the capabilities of doing so as well. And then this trailer is equipped with an Onan 4.0 gas generator. So you'll be able to have the generator with you, have that on you and everything. So coming around here to the rear of the trailer, we've got our 50-50 door opening. So this opens up, right hand side load the horses, left hand side here's your tack room. So you've got the swing out blanket pull. So that swings out and that just makes life a whole lot easier when you are putting blankets on, you're layering them on there, anything you need to do, it just makes life easier. And that's on a gas shock too. 
And then down below there, we've got our brush box. So brush box, I generally keep the stuff that I use often in my brush box. So whether that's my combs, my brushes, my fly spray, hoof picks, liniment, um, bigger stuff that I want to keep off the floor of the tack room too. Uh, that just gives you the capability of doing so with having that brush box right there. And then in that tack room there, we do have the four tier saddle rack. We can easily get one more added to that if you wanted or needed to. And then those are also adjustable. So you can move them up and down. If you got a saddle with the bigger horn, uh, cutting saddle, roping saddle, stuff like that. And you got to get some more space between, you could easily back those out a little and shift them up or down. Um, one thing I really like about Cimar Cimarron saddle trees are they are carpeted and then you have this wither block on here. So these are exclusive to Cimarron. They made these. Um, that wither block is going to help hold those saddles in place and while you're in transit so you're not opening up your, your tack room door and you got saddles laying on the ground and ruining leather and everything. Over on that right hand side you do have a couple rows of bridle hooks with the carpet down below. So we like to put carpet behind bridle hooks because your, your bridles are gonna do some swishing and swaying as you're in transit. So being able to have that carpet behind it is gonna help alleviate some of that swishing and swaying and rubbing that the bridles will do while you're driving. This trailer is equipped with a collapsible rear tack. So what you'd wanna do is take the saddle rack out so it lifts up and pulls out. And then you undo these two pins, fold this in, and that folds over to the side and out of the way. So if you have a small four-wheeler um, ATV side-by-side -side that you wanted to load in here instead, you could easily do so with getting that over. Right now, we currently do not have a ramp on this trailer, but that is something that our service department could easily get installed in here for someone if they're wanting or needing it. And then hopping up here into the rear of the trailer, we've got our three dividers. The first divider here is going to be a full stud stall. So full stud stall goes all the way down to the ground. And that way, if you've got a horse that likes to step on its friends while you're driving, or if you do have a stud or something, something like that, you can easily get them put up in that front stall. And what I personally really like about having stud stalls and trailers, along with the escape door, is the option to use this as a storage stall too. So you can put your hay in here, your wheelbarrow, all that stuff, and it's not going to be rolling back underneath these other horses' feet. So we got two partial dividers on these last two. So partial dividers, you've got the pads on each, each divider, even that front one, you've got pads on each side. So pads are going to help, for one, a little bit of comfort for the horses, be able to lean against that instead of the hard aluminum. But for two um, folks with the lighter colored horses, your grays, your um, palominos, paints, horses like that, well, even sorrels and bays can even get it too, but they get to rubbing against this aluminum as you're in transit and they'll come out with a little, little bit of aluminum on their, their hips and stuff. So having the pads is gonna help prevent some of that from happening too. And then up here in these last two stalls, you do have mangers, or the last three stalls, I'm sorry. You do have mangers going across. So underneath is gonna be storage space that we'll see from the outside. And then you got the feed bunk up top here. One thing I did wanna point out that I love that Cimarron does is they installed two tie hooks. So having those two, if you do hang hay bags, you could easily hang a hay bag from one tie of the horse to the other. Um, just the ease of use and being able to pick and choose which one you want to use helps out big time in my opinion. And then as you're looking in these mangers, you'll notice we've got the solid head pieces. So the horses aren't going to be playing with each other. They're not going to be able to mess around too much. But then they cut out and have a gap underneath. And so having this gap, when you are cleaning out this trailer, any kind of liquid and stuff is going to still flow through this trailer and not get caught up too much on the the setup of it. So then up on the ceiling here, we do have some roof vents. So you got four roof vents, one for each stall. Those push forward and they push back. So you push them forward, they'll help draw that air in, push them back, help draw that air back out and just keep that airflow going over the horses' heads and backs. And then I did want to point out right here, we do have a bumper bar for headache bar or pad, whatever you want to call it. So if a horse, you're trying to get a horse loaded in here and they decide to rear up, they're gonna hit this first instead of hitting the frame of the trailer. And so that's gonna be a little bit easier on them too. And then up on that right hand side, you do have some LED lights. 
And then on the rear here, you do have an LED light too. So being able to get lights on, I, I came from a trailer that didn't have any lights except for your safe, you know, your brake lights and your, your uh, marker lights. So going from that kind of trailer and having my flashlight on my phone to get my horse loaded at night to having a trailer that has lights, uh, you don't realize how beneficial it is until you end up using one that does have it. So now I'm going to close this door here real quick and show you where this ladder is located to get up onto the roof of the trailer. So ladder is located on this back door and it's an easy angle ladder. So it's pretty neat how they work. So they pop up and then they pull down. So that makes getting up onto the back of the trailer or the top of it a lot easier than going straight up the side. You're able to pull that out and maneuver it how you need to in order to make it easier on you. And then right here we do have our light controls. So that's gonna be for your interior stall area and then your exterior stall area light controls. So over here on the head side of the trailer, right away you'll notice this is our fill tank for our generator. So it's same side as the pickup truck, generally um, where their fill tank is so you can fill up your pickup, pull forward, fill up the generator and you're good to go. So we've got drop downs on all four stalls, including the escape door stall. So these drop downs, I love how they operate, the Cimarron trailers, how they, they put these together and, and manufactured these. You're able to easily take this jail bar down, offer some more feed, offer some water if you're at a stop, just check on the horses in general, and then you can easily put them back up. I know I've got one horse that when she first started, getting into the trailer and like getting seasoned to being trailered and everything. She was very claustrophobic when I would load her into the trailer. And so I actually have a simmer on myself. So what I would do is I'd lower this to make it a little bit more opening for her to get in, get her into the slot. And then I'd come around the outside, tie her up and then put this back up with these. And it just made her a little bit more comfortable too. You know, we do what we can for our horses. So being able to make that more comfortable for her just, just helped out big time. And then in these windows, you do have a bus window too. So if you're hauling in the winter and you don't want complete airflow, but you still want some ventilation for those horses, you can come out here and pick and choose how much ventilation you do want. So then down below these windows, this is where you're gonna see your mangers. For all three, you do have an access door for all three of the mangers. So that's just storage space. That's extra storage space for you. We could easily add some bridle hooks in here if you wanted to. We could add some, um, you know, carpet behind the bridle hooks too if you wanted to, additional brush boxes. I mean, there's so many options and, and capabilities of doing so with having the mangers that we could get you, get you just what you're needing. And then on this first stall here, that is your, your escape door. So that goes into the first stall. And what we really like about having the first stall escape door and then having that walkthrough door, and we hear a lot of feedback from other customers, is they like to use this as a mudroom. So they'll come in here when they're at a show or out camping or whatnot, they'll dump all their boots and their dirty stuff and then walk straight into the bathroom shower and then go into the LQ. And that way you're not getting all of your dust and everything into your living quarters. So you're able to use this you know, as your mudroom if you wanted to. I will point out real quick, we do have this ember turn signal, signal. so that's going to illuminate when you have your turn signals on just in case somebody's in your blind spot riding right next to you. We all know how drivers love to drive when we've got trailers on back, so having that safety feature um, just comes in handy and just a little bit more peace of mind and comfort. Then you do have another LED light up above there. So on this side here, I will show you real quick some of the operations on this living quarter. So right here is gonna be your city water connection. So that's gonna be pressurized water. So if you are at a place that you can hook up to pressurized water, then you don't have to run your water pump. You connect that right there. Right here is gonna be your 30 amp plug. So that's where you plug in if you've got the capability of plugging into some power. 30 amp plug can also go into a 110. So doing that, you'd be able to use your electrical outlets keep the batteries charged up and stuff like that. You're not gonna be able to use your microwave, your refrigerator or anything, but you'd at least be able to keep your batteries charged up and stuff. And then right here, we've got the back of the refrigerator and then our furnace down below. 
So that's kind of a good little quick gist of what we've got going on right here. And then underneath here, you'll see your gray holding tank and then your black holding tank. So we always recommend customers dump your black first and then your gray because the gray is going to rinse out the hose and hopefully not make it a sticky because we know it's in the black tanks. And then right here is going to be your fresh water fill tank or fill area. So that was that, that fresh water tank we saw underneath the couch in here. That is where you're going to fill that at. So I'm going to have them pop up the drawing of the, the trailer real quick and then pop up the drawing of the living quarter so you can get uh you know just get some more hands on and eyes on it too but like i said earlier we're sitting at eight feet wide sitting at seven feet seven inches tall and then we're on the floor length of 30 feet three inches so you're not getting overly long that's what i absolutely love about this trailer you're still getting everything you need and want but you're not crazy long on it and then popping over to that outlaw drawing we've got the 12 foot 8 short wall you can see where the couch is set up how the refrigerator set up and everything like that so on this trailer we've got stock number 5u231022 and that's 5u231022 it's a used 2022 cimarron north star four horse living quarter and something I did want to point out real quick that um, kind of could help you guys out if you're looking at our website or looking at videos and stuff. This U in our stock number is going to mean used. And then when you see a 5N, that's going to be a new. So that's something that you can kind of use to, to know if a trailer's new or used too, if you miss it within the video. Um, but that 5U is used. So if you guys have questions on this trailer, any other trailers you see on our website, on our lot or you're looking at building something please don't hesitate to reach out to me you can call or text my cell phone at 970-218-5996 you can call my desk phone at 303-684-3451 or shoot me an email to morgan that's m-o-r-g-a-n dot null k-n-o-l-l -L, at transwest.com if you click the link below it'll take you to this trailer on our web page and then you can also browse our new and used inventory there i look forward to hearing from you and look forward to doing business and i hope you have a great day